in this video we are going to talk about jupiter through the nakshatra of revati pada's symbolism and more so keep watching namaste and welcome to pramanic astrology channel i'm your host prasad mahajan we help you raise your vibrations and become your true self with the help of vedic astrology jupiter through the nakshatra of revati what is revati nakshatra i have already made a separate video on what is revati nakshatra if you want to know more about that just go and watch that video but let's summarize what is revati nakshatra revati nakshatra ranges from 16 degrees 40 minutes of pisces to 30 degrees of pisces the dasha ruler of this nakshatra is mercury and it has four padas first pada goes into sagittarius navamsha second is capricorn third is aquarius and fourth is pisces second pada is a debilitated navamsha and the fourth pada is pisces that is varagottam navamsha the deity associated with revati nakshatra is pushan pushan is the nakshatra which is all about travel he is a person who takes you to the other world safely that's why it is the 12th house the exit from this realm going to the other world going to the moksha okay so the pushan the deity pushan takes you safely in a boat to the other world okay so we have already discussed about what is pushan and what he is capable of doing into the revati nakshatra video okay. then, uh, the deity of pushan is all about your well being and travel travel to the other world the symbolism associated with revati nakshatra is fish and you can apply all the qualities of fish to this nakshatra which is sensitivity mobility and you know emotional nature and agility to this extreme you know it just moves and it is also about the travel now what happens when jupiter comes into the nakshatra of revati jupiter is a planet of abundance and knowledge and mentors teachers guru father figures is also the significator of children the planet of abundance comes into the nakshatra which is about wealth revati nakshatra is about wealth revati nakshatra has the blessings of lakshmi so any planet placed in here will give you wealth so if when you have jupiter placed in here these people have ability to teach people to guide people and through this this guidance and intelligence they create wealth the planet of knowledge comes into the nakshatra of wealth so these people are wealthy these people are knowledgeable these people have ocean of knowledge with them and they can share based on your own abilities on the abilities of the student and they make them abundant they make them wealthy they have the ocean of knowledge the planet of abundance and positivity comes into the nakshatra of wealth okay so it just amplifies the nature of already wealthy nakshatra so person with jupiter into the nakshatra of revati is wealthy it attracts wealth the planet of expansion comes into the nakshatra of travel okay so these people love travel and these people love to go on a long travel not just casual short trips but they like to go on long voyages that's what 12th house that's what the last nakshatra of the you know last uh, sign of the zodiac represents the 12th house you know the things away from yourself 12th house is also the house of moksha the sign of pisces is all about the other realm so the planet of expansion comes into the nakshatra which is all about the other realm and expansion so these people have some vivid dreams these people get some divine guidance through the dreams these people have the ability to connect to the divine connect to the divine get the knowledge and share it with their students so revati nakshatra is full of knowledge and wealth another key signification with the revati nakshatra is finding lost objects the planet of positivity abundance and protection in a way positivity in your life is connected with the nakshatra which is all about you know taking care of the lost objects and sometimes it is also guiding other people who have lost their path so the planet 
of knowledge, guidance, mentoring is connected with the nakshatra which is all about taking care of the lost things or the lost path. So these people guide people on the right path. These people, the planet, <coughs> person with the Jupiter in the Revati nakshatra guides people on the right path. Jupiter in Revati nakshatra is full of positivity and knowledge. So these people have the ability to really guide people on the righteous path, on the right path, on the path towards God, path towards the moksha. When you have Jupiter placed into the nakshatra of Revati, these people have some karma around the teeth. If you if you read the story of if you read the story of Pushan, Lord Rudra, Lord Shiva had just you know had just uh, taken away one of his teeth. Okay, and there are stories around it. So when a person has uh, Jupiter into this nakshatra, these people have some karma around the teeth as well. When Jupiter is in the nakshatra of Revati, these people have a spouse which is shorter than them. Okay. Jupiter also represents husband in woman's chart. And if it is into the nakshatra of Revati, these people have shorter spouse. Okay. There is a story of Revati nakshatra and Balram. You know, Revati nakshatra went along with his father to Lord Brahma and he was not able to meet him for some time. So they have to wait. They went to meet Lord Brahma for some marriage proposal for Revati. But they have to wait. And Brahmaloka, the time is delayed. So by that time on earth, there was a change in yoga. So there was no competent man on the earth to match with Revati. Okay. So he said there is only one man who can match with Revati. And that is Lord Bal Balram. So, uh, you know, Revati is the wife of Lord Balram. And so when you have Jupiter placed into the nakshatra of Revati, these people have shorter spouse. Especially women with this placement will have shorter spouse. Man also with this uh, placement will have shorter spouse. Okay, There is karma around this because of this story. When you have Jupiter placed into the nakshatra of Revati, it also shows some karma around the legs or the feet. Remember, the sign of Pisces is the sign of, uh, you know, which is associated with your feet. Okay, it is also associated with movement, but most of it is associated with your feet. So when Jupiter is associated with Revati, either it can give you strength in your legs or some, you know, Jupiter is also about the divine knowledge. So you would be good with using your legs like a dancing or some long walks you are capable of doing some long walks you know any, any sports around that okay but sports is more like dhanishta but yeah it gives you strength in your legs okay so yes there are four padas into the revati nakshatra the first pada of revati nakshatra goes into the sign of sagittarius the sign of sagittarius when jupiter comes into the first pada of revati nakshatra it's into the fiery sign of Sagittarius which is ruled by Jupiter. So this is the best placement for the Jupiter. This Jupiter is inspiring, is uh, self-made and will always guide people on the right path because this fiery Jupiter and the sign is ruled by Jupiter Pisces and the Pada is also the, ruled by Jupiter and a fiery Pada. So this is one of the best placement for Jupiter. Let's talk about the second pada. Second pada of Revati Nakshatra goes into the sign of Capricorn, which is a debilitated Nabam Shah for Jupiter. Jupiter is the planet of expansion, optimism, positivity. Now that planet comes into the Nakshatra, the pada, which is debilitated pada and which is earth element pada. So what it shows is it gives you practical approach in your knowledge. Jupiter in this pada is not overly optimistic. This is all about practicality, financial intelligence and practical nature. So intelligence of Jupiter comes into the practicality of the Capricorn. 
which makes a person who is very good with finances. This is not so good with um, spiritual things because the otherwise dreamy Pisces is becoming practical here. So these, these people will be more involved into the financial upliftment of the self along with the spiritual upliftment, which is more like a Pisces thing. Third Pada of the Revati Nakshatra goes into Aquarius. Aquarius is kind of a neutral Pada. No planet is exalted, debilitated, but this is a humanita humanitarian Pada. This Pada is more about the society. These people like to do something for the people for greater good and not just personal development. So Jupiter, the planet of intelligence, abundance, knowledge comes into the Pada, which is all about humanity, which makes it Pada for a society. So these people guide the society. These people stand for the society and humanity all the time. That's what Aquarius is. Fourth Pada of Revati Nakshatra goes into the sign of Pisces, which is Vargottam Pada. This is one of the sensitive Padas because now it is going into the Gandanta Pada, which is, you know, Gandanta is when a uh, planet is moving through the watery sign to the fiery sign. So, 4, 8, 12, the last few degrees of 4, 8, 12, when they are moving into 1, 5, 9 signs, that's the Gandanta Pada. So, last few degrees, like 26 degrees to 30 degrees of Pisces is fourth Pada and which is Vargottam Pada. But again, this is a Pada which is about Gandanta, which brings in transformation. Now, this is the ultimate transformation. The deep spiritual transformation can be seen with Pisces, Vargottam, Jupiter. So these people have access to few of the deepest secrets of the spirituality and God. They get the guidance in their spiritual path and they make great progress in their spiritual path. And this path brings in transformation into them because this is Gandanda. Okay. So yes, this was jupiter into the nakshatra of revati as much as i could hold grasp and share with you guys so yes if you want to learn vedic astrology join my 33 days vedic astrology boot camp sending you tons of positive energy sending you high vibes see you in the next videos love and peace namaste